So today we have a 2009 Volkswagen Jetta wagon. And one of the problems it's here for is the heater fan only works on high. So I'm going to change the blower resistor because it's failed. The blower resistor is up under the dash here. You can see it right there, that white component. But before we change the blower resistor, I thought I'd have a look at the heater blower current. And it's roughly 25 and a half, 20, almost 26 amps. And of course, if I put it on the other speeds, it stops dead. Now, that seems a bit high to me, but we need to check the circuit protection. Now, I used to check this just with the key on. See the difference with the key on? It's about 21 and a half, 20, 21 and a half, and it's going to drop because the battery voltage is going down. When it's running and charging, you're going to get higher output from the battery. So you need to evaluate the heater blower current on high with the vehicle running. And I'm doing this with an amp clamp attached over the orange wire here, set at 40 amp. And it's about 24 and a half amps. So we're going to have a look at the wiring schematic to see what it uses for a fuse for circuit protection. And if it's only a 40, I'm going to condemn that blower motor. So here is a uh, Mitchell version of the wiring diagram for this heater blower powered by a 40 amp fuse. So typically you won't see the blower current more than double or more than 50% of the blower fuse. So no more than 20 amps is what I should see on that circuit in my opinion. So I'm going to call that blower motor because it's drawing too much current. It's like 25, 26 amps. That stresses the uh, creates more heat in the blower resistor and this thermal fuse will fail in there. When that thermal fuse fails, the only thing that works is high. Also going to check to see if this thing has a cabin filter. It probably does and it's probably never been serviced. Well, there's the cabin filter. Doesn't look like it's been changed forever. Anyways, it's, it's up under the glove box. It's uh, quite easy to access just directly behind the uh, blower resistor and motor there's a little door here this little panel you just slide it towards the right fender and it drops down and the filter just pulls out so it's pretty straightforward it's getting a cabin filter obviously once we get it all back together again we're going to current uh, measure the current on the new blower motor so we're back working on this 09 Jetta wagon for a heater blower problem. It only works on high. So previously we had diagnosed that it needed a new blower motor. So this is the blower motor we're putting in. It's a Cooling Depot 75820 and the blower resistor. The reason why the resistor failed is because the blower motor is drawing too much current. We're also going to change the cabin air filter because it is completely blocked. So that's the part number at least the Wix part number for the cabin air filter. So we're going to go ahead and put this blower motor in, install the blower resistor. Well, there's a part number from Dorman for the blower resistor kit. This also comes with a pigtail harness. I'm going to check the wires to make sure none of the terminals are, are compromised on the harness. And if they are, we're going to change the appropriate wires. And let's get the, oh, let's go. Let's get going. Sorry. Once you have that insulator cover off from under the dash, which we had off the other day, to remove the blower motor, there is a tab with an arrow on it. Pull down slightly on this and rotate the blower motor housing counterclockwise, looking at it from the bottom, and it basically unscrews and drops. You only have to turn it about an inch, and then it will drop straight down. Now, it's kind of a challenge to weasel it out of there because there's some plastic duct in the way and the carpet in the way but it will come out just be gentle and then it's wise to compare the new and the old one to see if they have the same size wheels both wheels are the same both going in the same direction that the electrical connector is the same and that the electrical connector is oriented in the same spot and this basically looks the same. So we should be able to reverse procedure to install it. Simply weasel it up in there, locate that ear, 
and then turn it clockwise as if you're screwing in the light bulb. You only got to turn it about an inch until this locks in place. So there's the new blower motor installed. You can see that ear that I'm talking about up in this area here. And you have to make sure that lines up into a little notch in the housing. When you turn it back in place, it'll click. Now the blower resistor goes over in that slot over here. I'm trying to point to it, but I can't seem to find it. Right here. Well, right, right there on the camera on the top of the middle of the screen. And we'll have a look at the blower resistor. So this is the new resistor. It goes, it just snaps up into the housing in this direction with this little ear pointing towards the uh, cabin air filter opening. Then you slide it over sideways until it snaps into place. So there's the new cabin air filter. It goes up in this direction. Notice the arrow points away from the blower motor. So the fan blows through this on the way through the heater. So again, it goes up into this housing in this direction. Try and get a look at this cabin filter installation. There it is up in there. Once you've got the cabin filter slid up in place, slide the cover on, push it straight up and slide it towards the middle of the car and it'll lock the cabin filter in place. So all we have left to do now is to make sure it works on all speeds and check the current flow on the blower motor. So here's the heater blower current now running on high, 19.2 amps. 8.8 .8 amps, 5.4 amps, 3.95 amps, and off. So that's about 5 amps, almost 6 amps less than it was before.